Hi, in this tutorial video I would like to show you the different possibilities in Game for Automation for defining kinematics. We've got here a small example Scara robot and here in this example it's the simplest one. The kinematic structure is already inside the imported CAD uh, data uh, and inside the game structure. So we have got a base, we have got an axis 1 which is included in base, an axis 2 which is included in axis 1 and a linear axis 3 which is included in axis 2. Here it's very simple. We just need to add the drives uh, to all our axes and for the drives we need to set the directions. So here it's rotation y on this one, also rotation y, and on this one it's a linear movement, and we want to reverse it so that the positive direction is going downwards. So now all axes are defined. So now we can start moving the robot here on this axis, for example, or on the second axis. Or on the third axis, we can also start it here, jog forward, we'll move down, or up. Okay, so that's the simplest uh, case uh, that the kinematic is defined inside our defined structure. So let's check another example, an example which is very often in reality the case. Let's say you imported the robot and the kinematic looks like that. It's a flat structure, so all the axes are in parallel and on top uh, you should uh, set it here to pivot. You can see that all the zero points of the whole design parts are set to the robot zero point. Uh, uh, point. So for example, if we now try to move axis 2 by just adding the drive, we will see that this doesn't fit because it just moves here the axis 2 and it's not connected. In this case, we can use the kinematic uh, script of Game for Automation and the kinematic script enables us for axis 2 to define a new kinematic parent, which should be the axis one. You see, uh, we've got here a new sign icon in the hierarchy structure, and it shows that we put it under axis two. If we push now on play, the structure will be changed, and you see that uh, axis two is now moved under axis one. But we still have the problem with the zero point of axis 2, which is still at the zero point of the robot and not in the rotation center of the axis 2. And that's why we could use another um, option. We can move the center and keep the children and we can move it. And for doing this, we can move the center of the axis 2 in the set direction in millimeters. It's here in the game for automation uh, scale, 350 millimeters. And we will now see that our axis 2 is well positioned. For sure, we need to know here the exact position data out of the specification of the robot. We can do the same for axis 3. We add also a kinematic script. We define a new kinem... Uh, need to stop it again. Uh, we add a kinematic component to axis 3. We define the new kinematic parent for axis 2. In this case, uh, we would need to define for axis 3 an, uh, rotation center because it's a linear uh, axis, but we could also move the center here. And I already know the value. It's 
350 plus plus 250 so 600 millimeters and while starting the simulation we will see now that the structure is as it should be so now we just need to add again the drives and define the rotations axis 2 it's also a rotation and you see also that the center is now um, adjusted to the delta position and for axis 3 it's a linear movement going down okay so now we can check it and we will see that the robot is moving as expected let's move axis 2 so the kinematic for this robot is working Another third option is uh, that you receive a design structure with ha which has not any kind of kinematic structure inside and you could uh, define totally in parallel your kinematic. So let's uh, do this, that and we create a new empty game object, a 3 uh, obje uh, empty one, robot kinematic. We define a new 3D object or axis one, a new empty one or axis two, and a new empty one or axis three. And uh, we just need to move. our zero point copy component oh sorry paste component values zero 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 okay so now uh, we could define in here for axis two for example uh, new kinematic component where we might move our axis to the right position and on top of it we can integrate a group and a group is something we can add to any kind of um, design uh, data so we can get our robot and define this to the group that's our axis one and this one to our group axis two and this one to our group axis 3 and now in the separate robot com uh, kinematic we can integrate here our group axis 2 and in here we can integrate our group axis 3 and it will now integrate while pushing on play everything we need to define the kinematic you see here um, we just need to add also axis one here kinematic integrate group axis one so now you see here axis one is integrated here so it will copy during simulation start the 3d data into the separate kinematic structure so when pushing on play 
the robot is getting more or less empty besides the base and we have got in here all our kinematic components we need to drive the robot and we can now add the drives again uh, first we should stop it because otherwise it won't be able to save it we now add our drives and we define this as a rotation y this also rotation y and this one as a linear movement in the uh, y direction Let's change positive direction and <clears throat> now we see that we can also drive our robot and we receive a kinematic like expected Okay, that's it for now. Our simple tutorial about the three possibilities of defining kinematics. You can import a design CAD data which already includes a real kinematic structure in the design structure. You could add uh, kinematic information to, to the design itself and you could build up a separate kinematic uh, besides the design data. These are the three possibilities in defining kinematics with Game for Automation. Thank you.